Traditional investing. In 2019, over $130 billion was invested in American businesses. Over 92% of that money was invested into white entrepreneurs. Less than 1% went to black entrepreneurs. Here's a shocking stat. Over 90% of those businesses invested in are guaranteed to fail within two to three years. You heard me right. These companies are failing at a 90% clip. VCs, venture capitalists, are losing $117 billion out of the 130 they invested in just in 2019. So by 2021, they will only have $13 billion of that. One would think that investors would change up their demographics as far as investing. If you're investing 90% into white entrepreneurs and you have over 90% of the companies that are failing every two to three years that you're investing, then you would think maybe I'll give black investors 13% instead of less than one. At least that matches our demographics in the United States. Black people are about 13% of the population. What about just giving white people 60%? That's about where they are in population. Maybe that will give you a better chance than failing in a 90% clip. Why not try it? It's never been done. Seriously, who likes losing 90% of the time? To be okay with losing 90% of the time, there must be some kind of strategy, right? Why would you invest the same demographic, 90 plus percent, into white men and women? If you're failing at a 90% clip every two years, you think you would shift that a little bit to see if your odds are better, unless there's some other motive behind doing it. And I believe I know why. Let's take a trip back to the 1930s, all the way up to the late 1960s. America had a plot to keep black people down. You see, the Federal Housing Administration, along with developers, decided to create the suburbs. But there was one clause in this suburban contract for these developers. They could not sell these homes, and none of the people who bought the homes could resell these homes to black people. That is what created the massive wealth gap between blacks and whites in America. Blacks in America own 10% of the wealth that white people own. And it's not because white people worked harder for it. It's because they had equity. They had something to loan on. They had something that was worth something and therefore they can create wealth. They could invest $10,000 by taking a loan out of their house. Black people had to work to get $10,000 to be able to do anything with. So you see how the disparity happened and continues to be to this day. By giving white people 92% of the investments every year, it's continuing as far as trying to create the wealth gap, right? Just like the housing back in 1930s to the 1960s, late 1960s, they created wealth that way. And behind the scenes, they've been creating wealth for white people in businesses as well. All they did was shift sectors from real estate to business. This has got to change. 